a boy named Earth came to be, I think around freshman year, and it was kind of this metamorphosis from this prior band, Aurora. And one day, Evan like called me up and said, hey man, do you want to like start a little side project with me? And I was like, yeah, sure, yeah. Eventually we invited Tom into it because, I mean, who doesn't want Tom in the band, seriously? He's, he's, he's Tom Healy, he's pretty much the best. And then the side project morphed into a, a more primary band called The Boy Named Earth because it was this metaphor referring to how, like, if the entire Earth was like a boy, if we were living on this other entity, how insignificant we'd be and how little we have to do with anything. But with the hope that if we make some cool music, you know, we can make ourselves pretty much feel better. Tell you about the type of music we play, that's a pretty difficult one. The guy who recorded us, Wayne, I think it was probably just because we had a violin, but he uh, compared us to Mahavishnu Orchestra and Electric Light Orchestra, which is pretty flattering considering I don't think we're nearly as good as those bands. I guess if I had to clarify, it'd be something along the lines of psychedelic rock, but it's definitely a little more constructive than what most people consider psychedelic rock, but on the other hand, it doesn't follow the whole verse the verse chorus verse chorus formula that a lot of songs do. So I guess it could be psychedelic rock. Well, what happens at a normal band practice? Well, it's either, you know, me and Evan drive to Steve's house or it's either at the, the train shed. There's different kinds of band practices because there's band practices where we have to learn new songs. There's band practices where we have to affect new songs. There's band practices where we have to just practice old songs that we've known for a long time for a recording or um, show or something like that. Uh, to tell you about Dan Brown, he is probably, I won't say single-handedly responsible because that's, I guess, kind of squashing the contributions of Evan and Tom, but I think he's very responsible for making our band seem different across the landscape of a lot of other bands of kids our age, not just because he plays the violin, that's part of it, but also because He's very good, and the texture that he adds, while it is mostly higher frequency stuff, the, the texture that he adds to most of the songs is really, for lack of a better word, awesome. What are the bands that have influenced us? Hmm, an interesting question. For Evan, when I do listen to the songs that Evan's written, there is a little bit of the Mars Volta in there, because I know he likes, I like him a lot too, and I think there are certain parts, certain, I guess, ambient parts that are reflect uh, Mars Volta style. Uh, for Danny, I know he's he had Scottish background. He has a lot of traditional folk patterns when he plays a lot of his songs. We actually have two songs that are direct um, remakings of uh, Scottish folk songs. Um, he's uh, definitely, not a, I wouldn't say a big classic rock fan, but he very likes a lot of Hendrix. And there are some Hendrix stylings which are reminiscent of what he does. As for me, I have no idea. I kind of just play and hope it's in time. I, I do I do enjoy listening to older jazz drummers. I can't think of any specifics, and I can't say that I directly take their style into what I do, but I guess new fills and new rudiments, because I still am learning basic stuff, even though I've been playing for a couple of years now. Um, but just listening to what they do, and really helps me think of what I do.